Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at uh, all the adjustments that links to debtors control, but more specifically, we are going to look at provision for bad debts and how to adjust that, which is our last adjustment over there. We are going to start by just doing a couple of adjustments linked to data. So the first one over there says a data returns goods. Then a data was declared insolvent. Uh, we received money from a data, but we entered it in the wrong place. And then the one we actually want to get to is the adjustment uh, where we adjust the prov provision for bad debts. Okay. So there I've got all the T accounts and I'm going to eventually stick my slide over there so i've already filled out the balances for all my accounts i've got debtors control provision for bad debts provision for bad debts adjustment bad debts bad debts recovered bank trading stock cost of sales and debtors allowance the only one that i've got balances for are provision for bad debts and debtors control so i filled them in as well first thing you need to take note of is that provision for bad debts is a liability. That's why I write the balance on the credit side. Provision for bad debts adjustment we'll get to a little later, but that's part of owner's equity. Bad debts is an expense. That's part of owner's equity. Bad debts recovered is an income. So it's also part of owner's equity. We've got bank and trading stock. They are assets. Cost of sales is an expense. So it's part of owner's equity. And debtors allowance is an expense. It's also part of owner's equity. Debtors control, on the other hand, is an asset. So if we start... It says over there that a data return goods with a cost price of 200 Rand and they give us the profit markup which is 20%. So we need to use the profit markup and work out the selling price. So 200 times 120 divided by 100 will give me 200 and 40 rand. So I've got my cost price 200 and my selling price 240. So when a data returns goods, that means the debt of the data will decrease with the selling price. And then the partner account is data's allowance. So my expense will increase with 240. The data returned goods, so trading stock, will increase on the debit side. And I'm going to cancel my expense. Normally, we enter cost of sales on the debit side, but I'm canceling it because the data returned. We're not going to use these ones. I'm just showing you the whole adjustment so that you get the clear picture of what the accounts are that are involved. Next up, we're going to look at a debtor was declared insolvent. His estate paid 25 cents in the rand of his account. So 25 cents is the same as 25% and the 25 is what they paid out. They paid 25. So I've got my two over there. I need to work out what is 25% of 450. That is 112,5. So we are just going to work with 113 for now. And then 450 times 75% will give me 337. I just throw the comma away. So that one is what the data paid. And the other one, the 75, is what we need to write off. Okay. So... The full debt will decrease with 450 Rand. Then I'm going to split it. Bad debts will be 113. No, sorry. Bad debts will be 337, what I write off. And bank will be 113, what the data paid. So this in total will give me 450 Rand. 
and the debt will now decrease with the total. I could have split it as well, 113 and 337. Together it will still give me 450 on the credit side. And you may not get confused with bad debts and provision for bad debts. There's a difference. Bad debts is when a debtor cannot pay his account anymore and I need to then throw the debt away. We write it off. Okay. Then we've got, I received 100 Rand from a debtor. And this is now important. Whose account was previously written off. This person is no longer a debtor. So they say that this was credited to the debtor's control account by mistake. So the money is already here on the credit side. This person is not a debtor. So what did they do? They said, oh, yay, we got money. They've already entered it in bank on the debit side. And then the account that they credited was debtor's control. You can only write money in debtor's control when the person is a debtor. This guy isn't. So this is the mistake. I cannot have it on the credit side, so I must take the 100, put it on the debit side, and the actual account that should have been credited was a bad debts recovered. Okay, when a debtor pay, when a guy pays me after I wrote off his debt, bank will be debited, and bad debts recovered will be credited, not debtors control. That's why we're cancelling it. Now I've done all of them. The last one I need to do is to adjust the provision for bad debts to 5% of net debtors. In order to do that, I've got some steps and I've got my heading. I'm going to write it down over here. Step number one, work out the new balance of Debtors control. Okay, so we're going to go to our debtors control account 46,700 plus 100 minus 240 minus 450 gives me a balance of 46110. Okay, so that's my balance that I worked out. So basically, the two sides will now add up to 46,800 and the balance will be brought down again 46,110. So that's the amount that I wanted to work out. Work out the new balance 46,110. Okay. Step two, we need to adjust the provision for bad debts so that it's 5% of net debtors. That is my net debtors amount. So I need to take my net debtors amount, the new balance, and I must multiply it with 5%. And I get 2, 3, Oh, 5 comma 5 so we're just going to work with 2306 oh, for now okay so that's 5% this 2306 oh, that's 5% of my debtors that amount will now be my new balance in provision for bad debts. Okay, so I worked out 5%. The 5% will go to provision for bad debts immediately. That's the new balance, okay? So step three will be that enter as new balance in 
vision for bad dates okay and then the last thing that I need to do is I now need to go and look I took my liability of 1300 and I increased it to 2300 when I increase my liability I need to add something over here I'm going to add 1006 okay so the moment I increase my liability that 1006 becomes an expense if I were to decrease my liability let's say it was 300 uh, let's say it was 3300 and it had to be 2300 then I would have entered something on the debit side the difference so if it's on the debit side if I decreased my liability this account would be an income okay in my case I had to take my liability and I had to increase my liability so the difference will then be my expense okay and then so whenever I enter something over here on the debit side it's an expense and if I enter something on the credit side it will be an income okay and then all my expense accounts will be closed off to profit and loss. So I'm going to do it with provision for bad debts adjustment. I'm going to do it with bad debts. I'm going to do it with cost of sales if eventually I had a balance. And then my income accounts will also be closed off to profit and loss, which will be bad debts recovered. That is a liability, so it stays with the new balance. My asset already has a new balance as well. And the rest, bank, trading stock would also have more information in. So it will have a balance as well. Okay. So then for those four adjustments, this is what you had to do with the calculations and the steps for provision for bad debt.